Hi, I'm Daniel, and I saw the first Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, that was meant to be released in cinemas, but because of 2020, it got moved to Netflix. By the trailer, I was excited, and it might be because there's only one trailer instead of two or three, but barely anything was given away about it, and the trailer jokes fit in well, so it's good to know the end from Sponge Out of Water. Also, this film got the aid of the art. It was originally 2019, then got moved to 2020, then got moved to August, then got moved to next. Except Canada, which got the film earlier in cinemas, and the United States, which still isn't getting it till next year. To start off, the story is okay but fjord. The pacing is bad because it tries to be a road trip film like the first one, but it only has one pit stop, and most of the movies in Atlantis. Also, it ignores that Yantis were a to exist, which is probably a good thing. It feels like there should have been one or two more pit stops. Similar to the second movie, it takes some stories from other episodes. This is a mix of the first movie and Have You Seen the Snail? But I think this is better than Have You Seen the Snail? Because its story fits its runtime. While Have You Seen the Snail is dragged out an extra like 5 to 10 minutes. If anything, this movie should have been younger. Something this film does better than the previous films is giving all seven main characters stuff to do. The animation is great. It is weird to get used to at first, but each individual frame looks good. I like how it has a stop motion aesthetic with its texture and movement, but some of the textures look weird, especially Sandy's fair. It also doesn't look good when interacting with live action. The comedy is very good. It has some notable, not funny jokes, but most are very funny, and they want to say what jokes, but I will ruin it by explaining it. The characters are another thing that I think is done well in this film. Patrick is the best character, and this is one of the best Patrick portrayals of Spongebob, because he is both a supportive friend, has funny jokes, and he doesn't make the mission harder by shortening the time limit, which is one of the only problems I have with the first movie. Like the second movie, Piankton is on the good side for a bit, and I think it was done better here, because it makes sense that I wouldn't stay good. In terms of new characters, the Sage is great at adding the Spongebob and Patrick stupidity by being annoyed at them, but Poseidon is quite bad. Firstly, he voices the pig in disenchantment, and that's all I could hear when he spoke. Secondly, he leaves no impact as an intimidating or funny villain. This film has songs, none of the count of the musical, and most of them are just generic pop songs. The secret to the formula is stupid, but I actually like it. Sponge in the Run also tries to have a tie-in with an upcoming spin-off show, Camp Coral. It mostly comes out of nowhere aside from one scene. Mr. Crab Biff feels shorted, and Piankton didn't get a scene. I know he's the villain, but he's meant to be in that show too. On the other hand, I like the scenes of how he met these characters, especially Squidward. And it is meant to be dedicated to Heimberg, despite the fact that the show is meant to be disrespectful to him. Also, it breaks continuity because Spongebob meets characters in Help Wanted, Tear at the Tree Dome, True Force War and Plankton. But Spongebob has always had bank continuity. And because of this thing that happens at the end, I don't think this is canon anyway. In conclusion, I think this film is great, although flawed. I keep comparing it to the previous two, and although it is nowhere near the first movie, I think it's better than Sponge Out of Water. I would recommend this to all Spongebob fans, and if you already have Netflix and don't be to do this like Spongebob, it could be worth a watch. I give it 8 out of 10 and would recommend, which is my first positive recommendation. This is also slightly better than Cons Against Universe on my scale. Also, the one on the iPhone was moved down. The end. <laughs>